In today's tutorial, we're going to model a cabin concept uh, designed by uh, John Ademaya, who is a partner of Foster and Partners. And um, I found this project quite, inspi uh, quite inspiring and I thought that we could actually take a look and see how we can uh, model this, uh, this project in Rhino. Uh, we will be covering how to model this structure, how to model this uh, mullions glass and how to model this membrane around it. Uh, we're not going to, to go in too much detail like this, but I'll show you some cool techniques that you can do uh, to create this kind of geometry. I'd like to actually show you the website of uh, Mr. DeMaio. I, I find it really, really um, inspiring as well. Uh, you can see all the conceptual projects uh, here that uh, he was developing. Uh, and I would like also to emphasize the project for Apple headquarters, uh, which is actually now, uh, I think in construction, or maybe it's even uh, finished already. Uh, you've probably seen this project before. And uh, as you can see here, it's, uh, it's called Apple Park and it's uh, currently under development, as we can see here. Uh, I also really like uh, the way that he is presenting the uh, the futuristic concepts here of the ar architecture and uh, his visions for uh, future life on other planets such as uh, Mars. So, uh, like for example this project here, uh, it's really cool. So, uh, let's get started and let's see what we can do to, to create this, uh, this cabin concept. So, first thing I'm going to import uh, this image here in the top and let's start from there and then we'll see what else we can do uh, along the way. So first thing I'm going to do as always I will um, turn off, uh, uh, increase the transparency and let's uh, let's lock this layer and first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually trace I'm gonna try to trace over uh, these lines. First thing I will actually use the polyline and I will uh, find like which direction I want to lock, for example here, then I will press the tab key, tab key will lock this direction. And you can see here that it's not perfectly aligned, so I'll press tab again, and now I will get a different result here. And I'll, let's do the mirror now. Uh, this should be mirror on both sides, and let's see if we can slightly modify this guy to get it right there. And let's do the one line on the bottom, like this. All right, so now I'm going to extend these guys. And now I'm going to use this option here. It's called uh, Circle Tangent to Three Curves. I'm going to click here, here, and I'm going to bring it up to get that fillet nice and smooth. And now let's do that, the same thing to the other, other side as well. And I'm going to mirror this because we know that uh, this should be the same filleting. And let's do the trim. I'm not gonna trim everything except the inner parts. And now let's uh, let's join these guys like so. And now we have actually that main main uh, main area. Uh, now let's see if we can uh, do the offset somehow here in a quick way. Uh, the way to do it is you hold Alt and Shift and you will see that we'll, we'll be getting this kind of offsetting uh, which is going to be also the copy command. However, uh, we need, actually need a little bit of uh, different filleting here. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually explode this guy and let's uh, delete these sections and let's bring this guy down like so and let's do Let's do fill it and let's do zero here so that we get these corners and here on top. And now we're going to use the same option as before circle tangent to three curves. Let's click here, here, and then right there. And one more time in this area here. There it is. Let's do the mirroring and let's do the trimming just we did. Uh, before and once once we have these guys now we can actually start like let's join it and let's go to perspective and let's see 
uh, what we can do more with this. So I'm gonna basically copy this guy. We're not gonna need it anymore. Let's do 90 and let's bring uh, this to the zero coordinate like this. And I will just approximately try to see what's the what's the the actual length of this of this geometry. So uh, let me check. So first thing that 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 you can see here is that this first element is actually a little bit um, like it has uh, actually uh, the surface is going inward like here you can see here the seams so this means that uh, we need to actually extrude this so this will go a little bit something like this and then this guy will actually go let's say a little bit yeah I think this is fine I think this is all right so we're gonna use actually at uh, this extrusion edge and I will just uh, actually I'm holding control and shift and selecting these edges now I'm gonna say duplicate edge and I'm gonna join it and I have these two curves which I will use to get uh, the sweep to going on so I'm gonna basically just do these two I think that's enough and let's see if we do sweep two let's select first rail let's select this edge second one that we just did and let's select cross sections this guy and this guy and that should be it and now we can just mirror it and let's join it there it is so that's our first segment so now we need to close the surface we can also do uh, sweep two or we can try with planar surface but let's see if it will work so I'm going to type planar surface and there it is so we have this first module however uh, the other ones are not actually the same this is just this first one and then probably the last one is the same as you can see here uh, but uh, all these other ones here are going to be a little bit different they're going to be much thinner so I will take this guy and actually I'll select all the curves and I will delete because I don't need them anymore let's join it so now we have joined all of these together and uh, what else we can do we can actually uh, mirror it on the other side because it will be on the on the opposite side as well and now I will approximately get uh, get the dimensions here or with this image I'll try to estimate uh, the best I can to get that uh, that length that those proportions so I think something like this would work yeah and uh, now let's actually take those those inner panels as well so I'm gonna basically just take this surface and I'm gonna say duplicate border and I will just bring it here for example and let's do planar surface uh, and now we can just simply extrude it just a tiny bit here that's like a sub construction and let's see how many there is there is uh, there is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so there is 11 of them in between so what I can do here I can just come for example from here let's say from the bottom there so there I'm gonna create a line so let's do the divide and let's say 12 segments so that we have 11 points inside 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so that should be it and now what we can do here we'll actually take this guy and we'll take for example the midpoint here uh, let me just turn off uh, the mid snap let me check if it's turned on it is actually so let's go again here it is mid snap and let's snap it to the point uh, and now uh, the the next thing we can do we can actually just copy from this point to this point and then we can keep the distances because it's going to be the same like so so that's our sub construction and what we can do here we can actually create you, you can see that there is some like surface for the floor so uh, we can 
use maybe let me see yeah we can actually take we can take everything until this edge for example so uh, let's let's just extrude this one curve and I will basically take all these elements here like this let's say duplicate edge and let's say join and now let's see uh, if this is all right okay so we just want to have the straight segments so in this case let's basically turn this on this side here let's do the explode and let's take out these guys so we have these clear segments if you see the control points you can see that there is a lot of them so the way to fix it is just type simplify curve and now we just have those two we can delete this one this one is extra and now let's bring this guy with set point let's bring it in the y direction until there and let's do the simple extrusion until here in this way and that's our our floor uh, now we can actually take and we can extrude this we can give it some thickness and for now that should be that should be enough uh, the next thing that we're gonna do we're going to actually create the surface the subsurface the actual this membrane on top so the way to create this membrane is basically just take take one of these uh, let's take one of these uh, curves from there and let's say duplicate edge I'm gonna do extrude curve let's come until here and now we have uh, basically this uh, this um, membrane and now let's see how we can create uh, how we can, we can create actually these mullions here on the on the front and on the back uh, let's take let's take this uh, this edge here and let's isolate duplicate edge let's join it and let's isolate it so we just have this guy to work with and now let's go to the front view and let's see how many of these divisions there are so I'm gonna approximately count them so let's say that there is like 12 divisions for example 12 divisions here so let's put the number of segments 13 and here uh, in this direction I think there is something like 9 so let's divide this 10 segments and now what we can do we can just take a simple line and we can bring this guy here and let's do the copying like so and let's slightly increase this so we don't worry about them and let's do one more time the same process but in the other direction so I'm gonna copy it here so snap to the points and let's get our divisions so there it is this one middle that we don't need and let's take out uh, these guys and now the last thing would be of course to create uh, to create these uh, these mullions and we can trim everything around uh, this guy we don't need and this would be the mullions so what would be the easiest way the easiest way would be to actually uh, offset this guy for example let's say let me see I think this is fine maybe even smaller slightly smaller so distance of 0 0.08 yeah that should be fine and now let's do the same thing uh, let's do, do the offset on both sides but let's use the distance of 0 0.04 so that we have this on both sides and here as well so you press b to get in the command and we do the same thing the same process for all of these curves uh, both sides B so I press O for offset and that's my my shortcut and I press B for both sides so O B and then I press O B and then I press 
like so. So we have this one done. Now let's do the other one. And there it is. So now you're probably wondering, okay, so what we're gonna do with all this mess because there's too many lines. What's the easiest way to actually have this geometry ready? And the answer is curve boolean option. So I select curve boolean and I just click inside of these uh, spaces here. And this will actually allow me to just uh, get the overall line for this geometry. Um, Maybe you're, you're wondering, okay, but there's too many of them. Am, am I supposed to click like this, like all my life? So the answer is, uh, it depends. Uh, if the geometry is very, very complex, then you would probably use some different approach. Uh, but in this case, I chose to do like this. But another way you can actually get these mullions to work for you is, of course, uh, to use the grasshopper and use the curves. And uh, the actual, uh, the last option would be to just I use the initial lines and then uh, use the pipe option to create the thickness and that would be uh, that would be also possible so now I'm gonna select this guy and I'm gonna uh, so so what I did here I selected the things that I need and I'm gonna invert the selection and I will delete it so I only I'm only left with with what I need here and now I'm gonna just say plan a surface and I get my surface here easy as that so that's going to be my my mullions and of course, uh, let's give it some thickness, something like this. And in this case, I'm not gonna create uh, the glass because this will be like a transparent model. But uh, that would be that would be the, that would be the process. And now let's use the mirror, and let's actually mirror this on on the other side, or we can also copy. It doesn't matter really. So let's do it like this. There it is, and let's move it just a slight tiny bit, like this. Uh, all right, so that would be uh, that would be the creation of this cabin. I uh, hope that you uh, like the tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments, please uh, post them in the comment section below this video. If your first time here, consider subscribing, since I'm uploading these kind of videos and tutorials every week uh, and hit that subscribe bell button on the bottom so that you don't miss any any videos that that will come out in the future so until the next time keep practicing right now and see you in the next one